look! It's my PSP! I can't wait to play this! After I go find that sock! But wait, you're old. I don't want to play with you anymore. You do realize you can mod this, right? Hello and welcome back to the Video Game OR, the series where we show you the process in repairing and restoring all things gaming. Today we'll go over how to set up custom firmware on your PSP, unlocking the handheld's full potential and making it one of the best portable systems. So without any further ado, let's begin the procedure. To do this modification, we'll need to retire the original memory card in favor of a microSD to PSP memory card adapter. Amazon affiliate links for the products used in this video are in the description down below. Any purchases made through those links directly help support the channel through a small commission at no additional cost to you. First things first, we'll want to make sure that the PSP is on the latest firmware and format our microSD card. In order to do this, insert the memory card adapter with the microSD card into your PSP system. From there, navigate to the system settings, then scroll down to the option to format memory stick. On the pop-up, choose yes, and then yes again. Once the format completes, scroll down to system information. You'll want to check to see what firmware your PSP is running. If it's running 6.60 or 6.61, you're all ready to install custom firmware. If it's anything under that, you'll need to update your stock firmware before installing a custom one. I'll have a link to the 6.61 firmware update in the description down below. To install it, connect your microSD card to a computer, then navigate to the PSP folder. Next, enter the game folder. Once inside, create a new folder and call it UPDATE in all caps. Now, place the update file in the newly created update folder and rename it to eboot.pbp. Once the file has been renamed, eject your microSD card and reinsert it into your PSP. When under the game section of the XMB, select the memory stick where you should see the PSP system update file. Go ahead and launch the system update, then navigate through the terms of service until your system finally begins updating. Well, this video's featured comment is brought to you by Earthgrand234, who said, Love the skits. I never thought about modding my Wii U until now. Definitely will be trying this out when I have some free time. Thanks for your comment, Earthgrand. A Wii U has to be one of the best systems to mod, and it's super easy as well. Be sure to make that subscribe button glow and leave a comment down below to have it featured in a future episode of Video Game OR. Now, back to the tutorial. While your stock system firmware is updating, let's take a moment to grab our files for the custom firmware. Head on down to the link in the description and choose the tab for your model of PSP. For this tutorial, we're using a 2000 model. Then download the Pro-C update for your current PSP firmware, along with Infinity version 2.0.3. Once the stock firmware finishes updating, remove the SD card from the PSP and reinsert it into your computer. Then extract the contents of the Infinity and Pro firmware archives. Once extracted, promptly banish the archives to binary purgatory. Then open the Infinity folder and navigate to the standard folder. From there, copy the eboot PVP file to the update folder on your PSP's SD card. If you already have an eboot file in the update folder, be sure to delete it before copying the new one over. Next, open the extracted PSP folder and enter the game folder. From there, copy the Pro Update folder over to the game folder on your PSP's SD card, at which point you can eject your SD card and reinsert it into your PSP. Once on your PSP, navigate over to the game section of the XMB and select the memory stick. You'll see the Pro Update and Infinity applications we added to the SD card. Go ahead and launch the Infinity 2 application. Once loaded, you'll be prompted to install Infinity. Go ahead and press the cross button to do so. Once the installation completes, press the cross button again to reboot the system. With Infinity 2 installed, run the Pro Update application. Once open, press the cross button to initialize the custom firmware. After the custom firmware has been initialized, press the cross button again to start the custom firmware. Your PSP is now modded and running custom firmware. However, it's not persistent. In order to set the custom firmware to start with the system, head back into Infinity 2. Once Infinity is loaded, press left on the D-pad to enter the list of currently installed custom firmware. Then press the cross button to select Pro CFW. You should see a star next to the name. Once selected, press the home button to exit Infinity 2. 
Then navigate to system settings and check the system information. If everything is up and running correctly, you should see Pro C along with an infinity sign next to the firmware version. Congratulations as you have now successfully installed custom firmware on your PSP. So if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like and subscribe so that you don't miss anything new from the video game OR. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.